Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be reacting to Endo and Kobayashi live, or as the cool kids call it, Soon Lise, I guess. That's a great way of shortening such a massively long name that this anime has, but... I really enjoyed the first episode. I think it's really cool how not only do you have these two characters that are sitting down playing through, I'm guessing it's kind of like a visual novel together, but the visual novel is kind of like evolving as they play through it because the characters, well not all of the characters, but one of the characters can actually hear what they're saying through the screen. So they can like give him pointers and basically now they're gonna try to guide him without spoiling what fate lies before him. They're gonna try to guide him towards being able to save, I think her name was like Lisolette or something like that. So can he do it? I guess we'll just have to watch and find out. So. If you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, subscribe so that you guys know exactly whenever I drop a brand new reaction, and if you'd like to check out my uncut reactions, I'll be posting those over on my Patreon, which you guys can join for as low as $2. But whenever you guys are ready, we'll be starting episode 2 in... Okay. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so we're in real life right now. Oh, okay, we're getting right into the opening. And here she is. Let's go, dude. Now, this is an anime that... Okay, so as you guys know, this was a part of our little gem hunt that we did, where I tried to react to as many new anime as possible, and then you guys got to decide which ones we keep and which ones we kind of put on hold. And I was surprised, because I know I loved this episode, but I thought this was going to be like a, a less popular, more niche, very like hidden gem sort of anime. But it seemed like a lot of you guys really enjoyed this, so I'm more than happy to continue reacting to more. I didn't think there would be so many other people, so many other cultured individuals out there that are also enjoying this series. And I think one of the things that I love the most about this series is the fact that the girl is actually the one that's obsessed with these video games, and she's trying to get the guy into it and get him to play some of them. Now, granted, this style of video game is more geared towards girls, but I'm also kind of getting the vibe that she's much more of a gamer than he is in general. So it's kind of cool to see that she's actually the veteran gamer, and he's supposed to be, like, the announcer that's uh, commentating everything that's going on. Oh, yeah, and then she invited him over to her house so that they could continue. Over, I think this is summer break. Oh, that's not her. That's her mom. Oh, older sister. Okay. Oh, no. I think he's catching feels. And here she is. Oh, hold on. His, I think his heart is like, I guess, moving between two different directions. I feel like a part of him has a bit of a crush on uh, her older sister. But I think he also might be developing feelings for her, too. Wait, what the heck were those? I thought they were candles, but she said she was going to put them in the fridge. Lisa lots of memoir. Oh, okay, okay. He's starting to get in immersed. 
this man. It's cool to see that he's starting to become passionate about this, though. But this is exactly what he needed to come to understand the characters better. Seek. <laughs> See, now this is how I was, how you normally expect the guy to act on the first episode. But now, uh, Kobayashi's kind of converted him. Balder. So we gotta save him too? Hmm. All right, we're getting some lore here. The reverse harem route. Oh my gosh. Well, that's why don't we just go for that route? Oh, true, true, true. That's a really good point. Maybe we can find a route where everybody, like, pairs up with different people. Kind of like Fire Emblem. <laughs> Ending where no one dies. That's what we're fighting for. Mm-hmm. And Sieg would never have to cut her down. Something tells me this is going to be a bit harder than it seems, though. I think we had, like, a lot of success in the first episode, but going on from here, I think it's going to get tougher. Dang. She's got quite the appetite. That looks amazing, though. No way she finishes that. No way. Time to help her. Sieg, it's time. It's time. Let's see. Oh. She's got to fix her hair up a bit. Make sure she looks presentable. It's time. Oh no! <laughs> the music! <laughs> Whoa, she fights back. Yeah, that's true. I think she's just embarrassed and doesn't really know how to handle that. Oh. Dude, Sieg. He was already a lady killer before, but now, like, them giving him these pointers? She finished it! What the heck? Oh, that's interesting. Because that means, you know, some bad things could happen outside of our POV. Whoa! No way! No way! Can they actually? This is so cool! It's not just Sieg! It's not just Sieg anymore. Whoa! 
Holy. Now she's the main character. What the heck? This is awesome. <laughs> Why can't there be a real game like this, dude? Where you can choose the main character and follow them. And communicate with the characters. Kobayashi. Oh, okay. This is cool. Look at how happy she is. This is our goal. But who, dude, we're focusing so much on Lise, not Lise, uh, yeah, her name's Lisa Lett, or Lisa Lott. We're focusing so much on her that someone else might become the villain, like some sort of butterfly effect stuff going on here, maybe. Like that guy that's her cousin up there. Oh, Endo? Are we gonna have two main characters? There we go! Balder, I was just worrying about him. Balder's been chosen. What an awkward time to be chosen, too. <laughs> He's about to go sit at the table. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair reasoning. I have a message from the gods. Is he gonna accept it? Teamwork. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is taking such a cool turn. This is awesome. Here we go. Good job, Seek. You got this. Athena and Ball. But what about the other characters? We can't leave anyone out. Because who knows, this time the one that's least likely to die might end up dying. And we're trying to go for a no-death run here. Look at how much fun they're having. Bring in some gifts, okay. Oh, but it's already August, which means school's gonna start soon. Baseball tournament. So is he skipping? like practicing baseball to spend time with her or is he gonna have to ditch rain check maybe
Dude. Now that I think about it, this is reminding me a lot of like a sort of, I don't know if medieval is the right word, but like a more fantastical like Harvest Moon. How you have these characters that are naturally like drawn to each other and then you have characters being introduced as you progress into the game. Or like, um, what's it called? Uh, what's that game that's just like Harvest Moon, but it's not the same thing? It's, um, God, I can only think of Friends of Mineral Town. What is it called? Hey, he's made up his mind. Oh, hold on. This might be bad, because we know Balder likes her. I see. All right, show them what you're made of, Fina. Let's see. They might... Don't sleep on her. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What's she doing here? She's charging straight at him. Dang! I guess she definitely doesn't lack in the offensive magic department. Standing on his sword? Now that's just disrespectful. What can he do now? He just has to stand there and take it. Holy crap, she's definitely the MC. Level 99, what happened? How did they get there so quick? I think he learned a valuable lesson there. <laughs> she really didn't hold back. She sent that man flying. A DPS healer. See, now that's broken. <laughs> Ambushed by thugs that sliced her arm off. Holy. <laughs> and they ran for it. They said, this chick's crazy. There she is, watching. Uh, she's trying to play it cool.
This is kind of sad, though. I hope soon she'll feel more comfortable with, you know, being able to actually approach these guys as friends and just hang out with them instead of having to linger far behind and watch them from a distance. Oh no. She doesn't look happy. Ooh. Dang. Called him by his full title. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. See, do something. Don't snap it. No, don't. Oh, no. Like I said, this isn't going to be a cakewalk, man. This is getting dangerous. <laughs> this is not the time to get excited, <laughs> Kobayashi. Whoa! The way she turned that around! Holy crap, it is working! Wow! Holy crap, it is working! Tsundere! <laughs> Dude, I love this so much. They even caught me. I thought that she was taking a turn down the the wrong path, but to see it turn into this is awesome. There we go. That's a cool looking wand. It looks like a little dagger. Oh, here we go. Dude, this is progress, man. This is progress. There we go. What a beautiful anime. Wow, beautiful freeze frame right there. What a cool anime, man. People who, gamers that aren't watching this are sleeping because this is so cool. Especially if you enjoy, uh, like, visual novels or very, like, story-driven video games. This is, like, a godsend right here. This is so cool. Man. But, let me know what you guys think, because I know, uh, there were quite a few comments of some of you guys, or from the last episode, where you guys were talking about how you enjoyed it as well. But, um... Let me know, do you think that maybe the first episode was just a fluke? Do you think that it's only getting better from there? Like, I'd love to hear if you guys are actually enjoying this as much as I am, because, dude, it's so... I never expected this anime 
like when I went into it, I didn't expect for it to be number one as good as it actually is, and two for me to be invested as I am right now. Cause like we haven't even started delving into the main characters, like the gods, um, Kobayashi and Endo. We haven't even gone into like their daily lives. We saw that one scene where Endo was looking at his phone and he saw the baseball tournament, but what was that all about? All right, some new characters, an enemy. Dang. All right, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be, who feels more like the main character of this series so far? Because I feel like there's so many different good answers. You could say Fine, you could say uh, Lisa Lot, you could say Sieg, you could say Endo, Kobayashi, like there's so many great candidates. But if you had to choose one person that you think um, feels more like the main character of the series, who would it be? To me, I think it's really hard. I think it's between either Sieg or Lisa Lot. Because the entire, like, Lisa Lot's name is literally in the title. And the entire goal of, like, everyone's goal right now is to try to save her from dying at the end of the story. But I think Sieg also feels very much like a main character because he's the one who's mainly being tasked with trying to save her. Like everyone's hopes and dreams all lie in his hands. He's the one that is honestly pulling a lot of, well, Endo and Kobayashi are the ones that are pulling the strings, but it's kind of like they're passing this information to Sieg, and he, at the end of the day, is the one that gets to decide whether or not he wants to follow that advice or if he wants to go his own path. So I think Sieg feels more like the main character. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.